hey guys welcome back to my channel it's been a minute and today i'm back with another video so in today's video i'm showing you all how i made this wig using my hair from rosemary beauty hair if you're interested please keep watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification thank you <laughs> so guys to do my wig i got this wig making kit from amazon and it came with about four dumb caps it also came with some hair clips it came with some needles curved needles and straight needles it came with some wig combs it also came with some elastic band some um, small sized black threads and this crochet pin I also ordered this elastic band that I'm going to use to make the wig tighter from Amazon as well. So guys, right now I'm just placing my wig cap onto my dome head and using my T-pins to hold it down. I got three bundles of body wave hair from Rosemary Beauty Hair. I got two bundles of 20 inches, one bundle of 18 inches and a closure. Before starting my wig, I went ahead to bleach the knot of my closure and I did this using my True Zone Cream Peroxide and my True Light Rapid Blue Powder Bleach. I also used a mixing bowl. I made a mixture of my cream peroxide and my powder bleach, making sure that the mixture was smooth but not runny so it doesn't seep onto the other side of my closure. I also went ahead to put on some gloves and then I placed fall paper on a table and I placed my closure onto the fall paper. Having done this, I went ahead to spray my freeze hold spray onto the edge of my closure and then I used a small comb to brush the hair back to control the fly away so they don't get bleached by mistake. I also used the spray on the nut as well before going in with my mixture. After carefully applying the bleach to the kojol, I wrapped it with full paper and left it to sit for 15 minutes before washing the product out. So guys, this is how the knot turned out and it was looking too orange for me, but because I didn't have the purple shampoo at the time, I just left it like that. I left the head to air dry before starting my wig. So guys, to begin making my wig, I sew my closure onto my dumb cap and to do this properly, I attach the ends of the closure with the markings on the dumb cap and then I use my T-pins to hold it in place. I keep adjusting the closure onto the dumb cap, making sure that it is properly aligned, it is straight and there are no bumps because I want the closure to be flat AF. I just keep adjusting each side until I am satisfied that it is flat enough and properly stretched out. So I'm just here pulling the closure together and there's no flipping of the closure. It is nice, it is tight and it is snug. There's no air bubble or bumps or wrinkles. That's how the closure should feel. Now for the next step, I'm using my hair clip to get all the hair out of the way before I start sewing. So guys, when it comes to sewing my closure, I like to sew over it instead of under it. And I like to start sewing quarter an inch away from the closure and the dumb cap. I start sewing my closure by poking my needle through the edge of the closure into the dumb cap and pulling it through. And to create a knot, I sew the same spot a second time thereby creating an invisible thread knot at the beginning of the closure. I like to sew my closure down with the knots very close together so my closure remains straight and snug. When working on your closure, it is always better to work on one side and then go over to the other side and work on the other side before working on the back last. That way you're pulling the closure correctly in order to avoid having bumps or lumps. Having worked on the opposite end of the closure, I went ahead to complete the back as well. Now taking out the T-pins, I'm just making sure that the closure is properly and flatly sewn to the recap. 
So guys, for the remaining part of the hair, I'm going to be using this Body Wave hair bundles that I got from Rosemary Beauty Hair. I'm so in love with this hair, you guys. It's so soft and so smooth. Before I begin sewing my hair bundles onto my dome cap, I use my T-pins to pin one end of the hair onto one end of the dome cap and another part of the hair onto an aligning part of the dome cap just so we can hold the hair in place while I sew it. I create a knot at the beginning by poking my needle into the dome cap and through the hair bundle and sewing that same spot a second time just to make sure the hair doesn't come loose. And for the first line of the wig, I like to sew over my hair bundle and then for the other lines, I sew underneath my hair bundle. And guys, if you notice, I'm not sewing on the weft of the bundle, I'm sewing beneath the weft of the bundle because I've learned that sewing on the weft of the bundle spoils the weft and for people who like to loosen their wigs and reuse their bundles, this is not good because when you sew on to the weft of your bundle, it destroys it and it reduces the longevity as well. When you get to the end of the line, you're supposed to cut your hair bundle and start sewing again so that the hair doesn't get bulky. But for some personal reasons, I think emotional attachments for my hair bundle and for fear that my hair is going to get bad, I do not do this. Instead, I prefer to turn the hair back and continue sewing. I have never liked cutting my hair bundle in the past, even when they had to install it on my head directly. And I am not about to start now. Meanwhile, you guys, the texture of this hair is amazing. All the time that I made this wig, this hair did not shed or tangle one bit. So guys, I just continued to sew my hair until I got to the very last line. And when you get to the last line, you want to sew your hair weft very close to the cushion. Not on top of the cushion, but very close to the edge of the cushion. Just so that you can have a seamless look and a seamless finish. I'm done making the wig and this is what it looks like. So I just went ahead to comb it out and then I created a center part on the closure. I went ahead and took off the wig of the dome head and guys what I'm doing now is I'm cutting the excess cloth from underneath the closure. Nobody wants to have a black cloth underneath your closure, it's a no-go. And when you're cutting the cloth off the cushion, you want to make sure that you're looking at the stitching or that you can properly see the stitching and then you cut right next to it, not on it, right next to it, just so that you're cutting as much cloth as possible without cutting the thread. Along the line, while I was making my wig, the hair lost its wave, as you can see, it's not looking a um, bit straighter than what it was looking like before i used my got to be heat resistant spray and spray that on the hair just to protect it from the heat before going in with my hot air styling brush that i got from amazon to curl the hair After I finished curling the hair, I went in again with my freeze hold spray just to further lock in the coils. Having finished my wig and then cut off the excess cloth underneath the closure, I went ahead to add my elastic band to make the hair tighter. And what I did was I took the elastic band and I put it round from one side of my head all the way to the back and then to the other side of my head and then I used that little pin 
to mark where I needed the band to stop or where I needed to cut the band at. So now I'm just sewing the elastic band onto the ends of my crochet. So guys, that's it. I just went ahead to tie the thread and then cut it off. This is how the inside of your wig should look like after you've attached your elastic band. So in my next video, I installed this wig and if you're interested in seeing how I did that, please subscribe to my channel. This is how the hair looks like after I installed it. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial vlog. If you did, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I can't wait to see you all in my next turn. Bye. <laughs> Hello everybody. My sister is here and doing our YouTube show. Mm -hmm. And this is my auntie who did our own YouTube show. And I like doing my YouTube show. Yeah. We always watch YouTube show yeah. forever. Why everybody thank you for my YouTube show? I really like it. Hello everybody, my name is Zai mm -hmm. and I'm here to tell you about my auntie Precious. Mm -hmm.